Hi everyone. Are you a mom that is asking yourself, how much longer should I continue to reach out to my adult child, my estranged adult child? How do I know when enough is enough or what do I do? So these are very common questions that I get a lot and things that we talk about in my group coaching program because if you're estranged from your adult child, you are definitely asking yourself this question. So for those of you that are new here to my channel, I just want to welcome you first. My name is Sally Harris and I am my mom who walked this difficult path with my own daughter for over a decade. And while her life spiraled, so did mine. And so I promise you it does not have to be that way um, in your own life. And so let's dive into this subject. So how do you know? How, how do I know if I should keep reaching out to my adult son or daughter who is not responding back? Or maybe they've cut me off completely and I don't know why. Well, first of all, those are two different camps, right? So if you have a situation with your child that your child is willing to sit down and have a conversation about why the estrangement is even happening, because some of you have that ability and have the, the actually the blessing of, of hearing them out and knowing, and some of you have just been cut off and you don't know why. So first of all, I want to address those of you that are that do have the opportunity. So the first thing I would do is try to understand the reasons why this is happening. And I promise you, um, having a conversation with them is going to be the best way to do that. So if you're able to, I would strongly suggest that first, because what you play in your mind and what you hear from them may not be the same. Some of it might be similar, but I want to encourage you the and stress the importance of listening and understanding the underlying reasons. Now, you may not agree with them. You may not agree with them. It may not make any sense. But what I encourage you to do and what I encourage moms to do if they have the opportunity is to set up a time with them and just ask them, what, ha what is it that I have done that has hurt you so deeply that you feel the need to you know, have this estrangement or semi-estrangement or whatnot? And then just be quiet. Just listen to see what they have to say. Again, there's gonna be so many things because remember, you're the adult and if they're talking about something from when they were a child, that's a child's perception perspective versus you being an adult and your perception perspective. It may not match. And so you have to be okay with that. Instead of interjecting and arguing and telling them that's not right, that's not how that went down, you know, that's not gonna serve you or them or your relationship, right? So hearing someone out is going to give you um, some, earn, you're going to earn some respect there because a lot of times our kids just want to be heard. They want to be heard. They want to be um, acknowledged that mom does actually care what I think, right? And so I know this doesn't apply to every single one of you because all your situations are different. But one thing, you know, is just to keep your open mind. Keep an open mind um, in going through that conversation and just being quiet because you know what? You're gonna have your chance to say your part, right? It may not be that first meeting. And I'm not saying sit there and allow them to verbally abuse you either. But if you can have some type of a, an agreement where we don't have to yell or shout, I'm gonna be quiet and listen. Um, and and that, that can solve so many problems right then and there. For those of you that have tried to reach out and in the beginning, maybe you're fully estranged, I want you to assess maybe the communication um, patterns that you've had with them because what is that doing for your own well-being? So if you have continually reached out, reached out, sent emails, texts, calls, gifts, whatever the case may be, and I know a lot of you have, I've talked to so many of you, um, I would encourage you to figure out what does that look like for you? Are you okay with reaching out and not getting a response? Because if the answer is yes, then you need to go with your gut and, and follow that. Because I, it's not, there is no cookie cutter approach saying, okay, at three months, you need to do this. At six months, you need to do this. You know your child best. You need to go with your gut. However, if you are not okay with not getting a response from them, then I would strongly consider holding off because that means that you, your well-being is at stake, right? And if the emotional toll of continuing to reach out without getting a response or having some type of positive outcome just puts you backwards in the hole again, then I would encourage you to probably not do it. 
and really wait until you are at a place where you're feeling stronger and that you're okay with that. Um, you know, some of your kids have asked to respect their boundaries, right? A lot of you are hearing that. So I would reflect on, you know, have they asked for a period of time that they want to pause? Okay, that's, we're hearing a lot of that too. Initially, I do believe you have to respect that because sometimes I have seen many cases where when the child is saying that there's something that they're trying to work through on their own, it may or may not have anything to do with you. Likely it's got something to do with the family or relationship somehow. Otherwise, why would they, you know, have you estranged? But in regards to the majority of you, I would, I would really um, abide by that, you know, in a loving way. Like, okay, I understand you need some time if there's a problem here between us. Um, but then set a, set a time, set a date of when we can have a, have a conversation. Um, because respecting their boundaries is important, just like we expect them to respect yours, right? So there are a lot of consequences of pushing boundaries and there's a lot of impact on that because that can have a lot of impact on your relationship long term if you don't abide by what they want. Because again, these are adults. This is like having a friend or a sister or whoever tell you that they just don't, they don't want to have a conversation with you, with you right now. They have that prerogative, even though they're your child. I don't think it's right. I don't like it either. But I mean, they're human beings and they are adults and they get to choose who they're going to have relationship with. Now, too many times um, there's so much verbal abuse, right? You know, just I, I encourage you that when you are talking with them is to don't don't um, don't match their loudness. So if someone's getting louder, their tone is getting louder, doesn't mean you get louder, right? You stay down here because then this person realizes they're the only one being loud, okay? Whether they admit it or not doesn't matter. So I would cons I would ask you to consider, you know, the frequency of your calls to them or reaching out. Um, maybe even like your tone with them um, and just all of that. That communication piece is so important. So uh, when they reach out to you, you know, you also, you can take your time in, in responding. Make sure you give it a thoughtful response and don't react. If something upsets you, don't react, right? We teach our kids to not react, but yet so many moms go ahead and just react, right? So for those of you that are, either new to my channel or you and I have never connected before, I do offer a 30 minute consultation. It's not a coaching call. It's an opportunity for those moms that are ready for change. If you are saying to yourself, I can't take this anymore. I need to start focusing on myself. I know that this is out of my control. I'm still struggling, but I know that I, there's nothing I can really do about this at the moment. I have to take care of me. If that's you, then reach out to me at the discovery call link below because that is, you're the mom that I can help. If you're saying those things to yourself, if it's time for you to start focusing on your own life in the midst of the chaos, if that's you, then I look forward to hearing from you. All right, talk to you soon.